Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about RNA polymerases and splicing of pre-mRNA. First, let's talk about eukaryotic RNA polymerase. Listen closely to the order. Ribosomal RNA is used to synthesize the ribosome, then the ribosome attaches to mRNA, and finally tRNA is used to translate. Ribosome to mRNA to tRNA. That's the same order which the three eukaryotic RNA polymerases synthesize RNA. RNA polymerase 1 makes rRNA, 2 makes mRNA, and 3 makes tRNA. RNA polymerase 1 is only present in the nucleolus and makes rRNA. RNA polymerase 2 makes mRNA, but it also makes microRNA and small nuclear RNA. And RNA polymerase 3 makes tRNA, as well as 5S RNA. Alpha amanitin, produced by amanitophalloids, aka death cap mushrooms, inhibit RNA polymerase 3. If ingested, this can cause extreme hepatotoxicity. Prokaryotic RNA polymerase is much simpler than eukaryotes because it has just one RNA polymerase with multiple subunits that makes all three kinds of RNA. The drug rifampin inhibits DNA-dependent RNA polymerase in prokaryotes. Actinomycin D, or dactinomycin, inhibits RNA polymerase in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now, let's go over the splicing of pre-mRNA. Small nuclear ribonucleoproteins, or SNRNPs, combine with the primary RNA transcript. Then they come together to form the spliceosome. The 5' prime end is cleaved and this lariat-shaped intermediate is made. The 3' hydroxyl attacks the phosphate group at the end of the loop, and a phosphodiester bond is formed, leaving the intron loop structure as a byproduct. Mutations in the SNRNP assembly can be detrimental. Spinal muscular dystrophy is a condition due to SNRNP protein deficiency, this results in congenital degeneration of the anterior horns of the spinal cord, which leads to symmetric weakness of the body. This is called hypnotonia, or floppy baby syndrome. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of View. We'll see you in the next video.